when we are supporting an opinion or a claim, there's a number of different ways that authors can do this within a text. And that's what we're going to look at. And our secure skill is identify which reasons and evidence support which particular points in the text. And then we're developing, uh, evaluate which claims the author supported with facts and evidence free from bias and those supported by opinions and beginning evaluate whether the reasoning and evidence is sound, credible, and relevant. So we have a number of vocab words here. Bias, prejudice in favor or against one thing compared with another, usually in a way that's considered to be unfair. Credible, able to be believed, convincing, reasoning. Persuade with rational argument and relevant, closely connected to the topic. So there's a number of different things that an author can include in an informational text to help support their opinion, to help support their claim. One thing that they can do is to give a short story that gives an example. So that would be a micro story. They can give you a statement from an expert. Experts are the people who should know, so we should listen to them. Um, so what an expert says is more trustworthy because they are an expert. Whoops. Graphs and charts. They can add these visuals and it can help a reader understand their point, point more clearly. Images. Photographs or illustrations that helps with the understanding of the topic can help really help support an opinion or a claim when you can see it with your own eyes. Uh, one thing that I would say if you're talking about pollution, showing what that pollution looks like in the environment, that is very uh, influential in how we think about it. Factual text. Proven facts are trustworthy and sway someone with an opinion or a claim. Factual numbers. Numbers can add trust and help trust and help the reader understand. Maybe if it's looking at how few or how many of an animal are in an area to see if they need help being saved or if they need to be controlled. Kind of thinking about lionfish and sea turtles there. Um, a table or an infographic. It organizes the facts and helps readers understand. Having those nice lines and rows makes everything easier to process. And then an inset. Um, an inset can add extra facts or stories but won't fit into the main paragraph. So we can have more information that maybe doesn't go with everything else but could be very important in supporting the opinion or claim that the author is presenting to readers. So all of these things are the different ways that an author includes information that then would go to support their opinion or claim.